Mifold comes in a box like this. It's really small. It's about the size of the actual Mifold. So you open it up. It comes with a very nice set of instructions as well as a warranty. Keep those instructions. They come with really handy uh, picture guides, which is great for someone like me who gets really frustrated really fast when I have to install things. I usually make my husband do it because honestly instructions just baffle me half the time and I just kind of give up. But because I am the one that is traveling the most with our children, I need to be able to install these things quick and on the fly. So I gave these a quick read before I started this so I could look super smart for all of you. And we're gonna give this a go. So, I'm gonna toss it over here. This is the size of my fold. Look at my hand. This is the size of it. It's about one and a half hands. I have normal size female hands, if that helps. And all we're gonna do is open it up, okay? This is the strap that's gonna help, that shoulder strap for your kids. Yep, that's what's gonna help. So, hopefully you guys can see what I'm gonna do. And I'm gonna put this up here and I'm going to scoot that butt right back. There we go. And I'm going to go find my kid because he ran away. So once you've found your child, the next step is there's these little slide out buttons right here. You're going to want to slide out the sides. And because I have my seven year old with me, I'm going to slide it out to the full width just to be sure that it's going to be big enough for him. All right, come here, Dak. Come sit. Yes. Ma'am. All right, now scoot your bottom all the way to the back. There we go. Now, you can see that, you can see right here that it kind of sticks out a little bit. This is good, I like that, because now what we're gonna do is, these are the clips to make sure that this is gonna stay nice and snug and keep his body down. So instead of a latch system, this is what it's gonna hold. I can even tuck this in a little bit using the slides again right under the bottom. I'm gonna pull it out and I can just kind of cinch it in a little bit so it feels a little more secure. And then I'm gonna use this and according to the instructions, I wanna make sure that this comes to about an inch down. So there's this little thing so even I can maybe pull it. We'll see. There we go. So it's gonna be about an inch above his shoulder right about there Oops. and I'm gonna tighten it <laughs> I know it's always fun when mom tries to do things isn't it <laughs> it's funny there we go okay so we got that and then we're gonna lock it in place and now it's behind oh good grief calm down <laughs> it really hurt. so now he's all set so when we're on the go, if we're at carpool or in a taxi or we have to grab a rental car that we weren't expecting to when we were traveling or anything else, I know that I have a really quick and easy booster seat that can fit anywhere. So I'm going to show you now where exactly this thing can fit when it's not in your car. <laughs> now, when your MyFold is not installed in a car, a taxi, wherever you're trying to use your booster seat on the go, you're gonna need somewhere to put it. Now they do sell a little carrying case that you can use to protect it separately, but in the meantime, you're gonna to wanna to know where it can actually fit. Now, as we've already talked about, this is about the size of like one and a half of my hand, which is a normal size female hand. So this is my five-year-old's little backpack. It is not a standard size elementary school backpack by any means. It is perfect for a toddler. It fits just fine in there. It's about the size of a Kindle. It's actually probably smaller than a Kindle. He can still put books and, you know, toys and games and stuffed animals and headphones and whatever else he wants to put in there. Awesome. If I can convince him to actually carry this as well as all his other stuff, we're in business. Now, if you want to use the actual standard mega elementary school backpack, I don't know why they make them this big, but they do. Even better. Loads of room, tons of pockets. That thing just dumps right in there. He'd never even know that I put it in. You know, I could get my seven year old to cart this thing all over the world. Awesome. Or, which is the more likely candidate of all, it's gonna be my bag. So, ladies, if you have any kind of purse, I do tend to have big purses because I tend to carry a lot of photo gear and whatever else I want. It slips right in. There's still, I mean, you can't even see the bottom of my cavernous bag here. And it's just fine and you know you'll still have plenty of room for everything else that you want so we have places to store it 
We are in business. Now let's talk about safety because the number one reason we all use booster seats and car seats is safety because we wanna keep our kids safe and protected when we're driving around with them. Now the MyFold is perfect for everyday use at home and even when we travel because you just never know when you're gonna need an extra seat. Whether you're carpooling or you're just trying to help out a friend who maybe got stuck at the doctor's office and needs her kid picked up from school or you have grandparents popping into town that wanna drive the kids around or maybe you're in Paris or New York and you're hopping in a cab but you didn't expect to because you thought you were gonna take the metro the entire time you were there. Either way, you now have a really small, easy option. How small? This thing is 10 times smaller than your average bucket seat booster seat. I have the bucket seat booster seat. We grabbed one at you know our local box store because we just wanted to have an extra seat around in case the kids' friends you know, came over. It's great to have, but it would be even better if it was smaller so that we could travel with it. Now I can. It's exciting. But do you want to know how safe it is? Okay, so I'm going to read off some statistics because I don't have these things memorized because that's just not my way. So um, it meets all the safety tested and exceeds all the regulations, including the USA FMVSS 213 standards. I'm assuming that's a really good thing because I don't know those sorts of things. Um, it also uh, meets and exceeds the NHTSA standard for the US. It meets all the U EU versions of those same standards for all the universal child restraint systems. It comes in six Pantone colors for all you designers out there. Oh yeah, they use Pantone numbers too. It's pretty exciting. It can be used for kids four to age 12. Um, up to 100 pounds and 57 inches, uh, which is pretty exciting because a lot of states now have you have to be either nine or four foot nine. And I know a lot of kids, the older they get, especially I have nieces and nephews who are a little bit shorter, and they're getting older and they don't want to be in these kiddie car seats anymore. They want to be just free and you know they're getting older they don't want to look like little kids so this is an easy way to just kind of be like all right you're still cool don't worry here you go so that's the my fold we are going to be taking it on the road this summer and playing with it and seeing how we like it a lot uh, but right now you know having installed it in my car a few times and used it so far we really like it and my seven-year-old thinks it's comfortable and we'll continue to use it and test it out so thanks for joining us bye